Hello, hey again, everybody. I'm Joey Sparks, and God's mercies are new again this morning. This morning with my mom. And we talked about yesterday morning the importance of knowing where everything comes from. It's one thing to go into Walmart and know you need a certain item, but then it's another thing to know on what aisle or to know where on that aisle. It's one thing to know that you need a certain type of screw or nail at Home Depot, but another thing to be able to go to that aisle and to go to that bin and find exactly where it is in order to then receive it. Well, in the opening verses of chapter 2, Paul says, here's all these great things that are relational necessities. It's the encouragement, the comfort, the participation, or the partnership, the affection, the sympathy. We all need those to thrive in our relationships. But where do they come from when we talk about the church and God's people? They come from Christ. They come from His love, from the Spirit. They come from us then taking upon ourselves to uh, come together in unity, but also in humility to consider other people more significant. And he says again in verse 4, to look out for other people's interests. In saying, verse number 1, encouragement is in Christ, he revisits it, verse 5, think this way among yourselves, which was in Christ Jesus, which is in Christ Jesus. This way of thinking, this way of living, was in Christ first. How? Well, it's too deep and too complex for us to, to, to understand completely. But it's in the fact that Jesus took on flesh, that he poured himself into humanity. He had to let go of some of the, the appeal to being in heaven, some of the appeal of being above earth. He came to earth. He never stopped being God. He was always completely God, completely man. But he let go of that Quote, equality with God is what he says in chapter 2 and verse 6. And he did so by coming to earth, and then he went even further and was crucified. He humbled himself to the point of being crucified on a cross, so that then the Father would raise him and raise him to his right hand and give him the name of Lord. So here's the thing. All this, this beauty of a relationship, the comfort, the encouragement, that comes when we will sacrifice in order to love and serve other people, to love others. And as difficult as some of those decisions are, and they are, we're not ever going to suggest that they are easy. The difficulty pales in comparison to what Jesus Christ gave up to become one of us and what he gave up to suffer at the hands of the people he created. And so when we begin to think about this opportunity to grow in the church and to agree in the Lord, this one-mindedness, it will always be difficult. It will always challenge us. But we have the starting point, which is Christ. He gave up more than we will ever have to give up. And he did so so that we could then be with him. When we think about the difficult conversations we need to have, the difficult things we need to, to forget or try to forget and for certain forgive, I try not to let them hang over us. We can do a lot of that hard work by going back to the cross with Jesus and remembering what he's done for us. That submissive and sacrificial spirit starts with Christ. That's what brings us together in one mind. Hey, we thank you for watching today. It's our prayer that God's timeless word will be on your mind all day today. I woke up this morning.